Well, I got one hour to work. That's all I've got today. I'm going to try to get as much done as I can. Um, spent some time today doing uh, some other stuff that needed to be done and uh, didn't get down here to my studio till late. But uh, I'm here and I'm going to try to do as much as I can while I'm here. Be right back. Time to play with some clay. All right, I got to make the uh, cinch, the front cinch. Now it's going to be a woven or a, a fabric cinch I gotta measure it out okay I've got to have the uh, cinch come from below the, uh, the ring. I gotta move that out of the way. And have it end about the same distance from the saddle. And that's just about right, right there. I got the center of the cinch right there. Now I've got to uh, make it look like fabric. I've got to find the right tool to do that with. And I can't see see it right now. I'm gonna look around. I'll be right back. All right, I got a serrated edge. Let's see, see if I can adjust this light so you can see what I'm talking about. that does any good or not what I'm trying to do is a side shot or with a light I've got a serrated edged uh, wire tool and I'm going to ah, gotta be careful because this is thin and it's soft I've got to uh, make these striations all in the same direction to give the feeling of uh, cords of uh, fabric. I don't know what kind of uh, fabric uh, the uh, cords would have been made of, and probably horse hair. I don't know. Anyway. There'd be a flat piece of leather going across the center of the. Uh, I gotta turn the other light on so I can see what I'm doing. And I've gotta make a couple of rings. Sorry about the uh, heater being on, but even though it's 80 degrees outside, it, it gets down in the low 40s at night and it stays real cool in here and a little too uh, cool to be comfortable. So I have to uh, turn the heat on for a while just to 
make it more comfortable to work in here. I usually come down well before I work in my studio, but I just never got a chance to, so that's why we have to listen to it today and yesterday. Okay. I'm going to take uh, the end of my exacto knife to make the ring. Flatten it out. This is tricky, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here. Sorry, my hand's in the way. So that's one ring. I gotta do the other ring. I gotta try to make this look more like a st strings of uh, fabric put together here. Oh, good. <coughs> Line up the ring, flip the ring on the saddle. Oh, got a piece of wax in the way.
that looks pretty good. Both rings are about the same distance between the saddle and uh, the ring. I know this shouldn't be stressful, but it is. Anytime you're dealing with something that you're not really familiar with, it can be real stressful. Okay. Now I gotta make the strap going between okay. I'm gonna run there through this there. ring here. The wax is extremely sticky, so I gotta try to wedge it up to the other ring. And then I gotta press that ring down there and bring this one up over and into the ring there. It's got to look like it's wrapped around the rings. Okay, that's that front cinch done. Now I got the uh, back cinch to get. I know that's not a lot today, but uh, it's all I had time for. I've got to do some looking through uh, photographs and videos of how that uh, rear strap is done. And... Uh, like I've told you before, I'm not a cowboy. I don't ride horses. So I have to rely on my research. And uh, hopefully I'll get this saddle tomorrow finished as far as the cinches go. And then I can paint the saddle to look like the clay. And then start on the cowboy. But all that has to come one step at a time. So far, I'm happy with it. This looks good. I've got a hole right there. I've got to fill in with clay. And uh, once I paint the, uh, the saddle to look like clay, I can see what I need to patch up to. So, till tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll have more time tomorrow. This week's going to be busy for me. And i got a, a, a thing I've got to do. The uh, molds that I stored have to be moved again because the uh, storage area I've got them in is not uh, going to last very long because the uh, place is not going to be available in a couple of weeks or a few weeks. So at some point I'm going to have to clean out my uh, storage unit 
and get it ready to receive my uh, molds. But until then, I've got to work on this clay and try to get it as far as I can. All right. Have a great night, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.